I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, A Season on the Edge. I'm using a 6-inch Bomber Long A in this video, and I replaced the factory hooks with VMC 209626 hooks, and I removed the middle belly hook. I fished these plugs on a slow retrieve. Just a look around before I get started. Uh, I do best on these plugs at night and in low light conditions. And as you can see, this is uh, very early in the morning, just getting a little bit of light on the horizon. Another thing to note are these little waves coming in because they can give you some idea of how shallow it is. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's more than maybe four feet of water where I'm fishing. And uh, in a shallow, calm situation like this, that's when I'll reach for one of these bomber long A's. This is one of my favorite plugs, very productive lure. And in these sorts of conditions, uh, this is where I'll probably pick a, a bomber long A um, instead of a Daiwa Sol Pro Minnow. And a Daiwa Sol Pro Minnow is also um, an excellent lure that I will tend to use more when it's a little bit deeper, a little bit rougher. You know, and it's one of those things that you try back and forth and, and, and see what works best. Now that fish hit very close, right there uh, along the beach lip. All right, we can see a little bit better now. Uh, at the beginning of the video, I showed two plugs, and uh, there was a bottom plug there that was really beat up, and uh, that's actually the one I'm going to use throughout this whole video. And it's a plug I've caught uh, an incredible number of fish on, and I just want to point out that um, you know I'm not too specific or worrying about how pretty these plugs look. Um, a lot of times you're just going for a profile, uh, maybe a color shade at most, and uh, of course the swimming action. And that particular plug, even though I've had it for like decades, and uh, it's very beat up, it, it continues to catch. And then the plug uh, that I had put above it was like a, a newer model, which was a, the same color. It's a, they call it a chicken scratch, a yellow chicken scratch pattern. and. The new ones work just as well, but I just want to point out, um, I don't know, at least I don't see it uh, necessary to get too fussy about precisely um, what kind of condition these plugs are in. As long as they swim okay, uh, they tend to catch. Okay, we've stepped away from the ocean and now we're on much quieter water, Long Island Sound. Uh, very glassy, calm, and uh, these are just very nice conditions for using uh, minnow-shaped lures in general, and the, the bomber is a great plug for this. And uh, again, especially low light into the dark. Um, and what I'll do here is I'm going to use a very, very slow retrieve, just crawl that plug uh, just under the surface of the water, and uh, it's very productive.
back to the ocean now. Uh, this is late November and the water is loaded with tiny bass and uh, there are very very few larger ones around. The best ones are maybe in the mid-teens but uh, there are very few of them. Most of the fish are, are tiny and uh, before I put the camera on I was using a bucktail and a small bucktail within a few cranks every time you were hooked up with a tiny bass. So then I tried a metal lift swimmer because that's a good plug to sometimes cull out some better fish but I just didn't get any interest um, on that. So I went to the bomber and uh, it ends up working out but you'll see one little fish after another is going to hit this plug and even with these 2-0 hooks that I have on there they were kind of big enough to, to not hook too many of these bass and most of them would come off right away or come off pretty quick but um, yeah this was just uh, an attempt to try to pull out a better fish out of the little ones. This outfit is very comfortable for this kind of fishing. This is a seven and a half foot pen regiment rated 12 to 20 pound line and I've got a pen 4500 SSV on there with uh, 20 pound test spider wire stealth and uh, can actually handle some pretty nice fish on it and it's, it's just comfortable for this kind of beach fishing. So now you get a look at uh, one of those tiny fish that I mentioned. Alright, so this is what I was trying to do was uh, hook up one of the better ones and this is definitely a, a decent fish. Okay, so I'm done narrating, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel.